invite Rabbi Lignato to say a few words. Rabbi is uh, teaching Torah in Share Sion. He inspires all of us, and he's going to say a few words of Biracha or the Torah. Don't get mic. I need a mic. Uh, Okay. So Masechet finishes Kola Shone Halachot Bechol Yom Muftach Lo Shu Ben Maba. These are, this is the advice from Eliyahu Hanavi. Tana the Beliyahu. Ma Peru Shone. Kola Halomer Halachot Bechol Yom. Ma Se Shone. Shone could mean two things. Could come from the word Lishno to learn, but it also could come from the word Sheni to repeat. When we learn, there's a chiyuv not just to learn. A person could read a novel, read a sefer, and put it down, and what happens at the end? Okay, next. What does he remember? There's a chiyuv lishno to repeat it, so I could remember it. And remember it not only for five minutes, for long. Many years ago, I happened to be visiting my father in San Diego. And there in the synagogue, they have a Daf Yomi Shur. It's an interesting shiur, not like our shiur, shiurim here. There, the majority of the people are visitors. Can you imagine? San Diego, you have five regulars from the city, from the shul, and everybody else is visitors. You have 10, ten people which are coming for either they have conventions, they have business, tourists. I go in. And I sit. All of a sudden I see a friend which I haven't seen for 25 years. Who went to elementary school with me. Who went off the derech. He married a girl. And Din Ve'en Cheshbon. They were members to the San Diego Reform Synagogue called Bet El. And Kashrut. And Tarat HaMishpacha. And Yom Tov. And Shabbat. And Kul. I see him sitting in the shiur learning Daf Yomi. I told him, Jeff, what are you doing here? He tells me, let me tell you my story. He says we would go to the Reformed Synagogue on Sundays. They had the prayers on Sundays. And we used to get inspired from the rabbi. He spoke very nice, of course. He's a PhD in Semitic languages. But bottom line was, it never changed our life. And it came down, we had children, and it was either soccer on Sunday or the synagogue, the temple on Sunday. We decided to pick what? Soccer. Children, we took them to soccer, they played. After six months, my wife said, you know, I miss some Judaism. We don't even have Judaism in the house. Let's look for another synagogue. We went to a conservative synagogue, and there we felt it was the same. Same hot air wasn't really... So let's try an Orthodox synagogue. I ended up in the synagogue called B'nai Yeshurun. I love it. I told him, but Daf Yomi is above you. He says, let me tell you, I sit here for an hour every morning. I get more out of Daf Yomi than I got for years listening to the Reform Rabbi. I said, well, how much did you get out? He says, even if I get 10 minutes, it's Lafachot, it's the Word of God. A lot of times, we sometimes get a little, uh, Rabbi, we're going too quick. I don't, just to let it penetrate into our hearts. It makes a tremendous difference. A, a Yehudi is why, why is a person a Jew? Can you imagine, Daf Yomi, I just a quick, I'm going to give you the last statement. Why is a person, a Jew connected to other Jews? We have a a young a man, a rabbi from Paris. He eats couscous on Shabbat. He has a whole different way of speaking. How is he from, he's, how is, I can't even speak to him. And then I go to the Eskenazim, they have gefilte fish. <laughs> My uncle will not step in a room which has gefilte fish. He says he, he wants, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna be too picturesque. <laughs> and what do they speak? Vuz <laughs> vuz. <laughs> so what makes us, United. Call Yisrael Arev himself. What makes us united? Rav Shapiro, Zechel, Tzadik, and you would make us united. 
and it comes much earlier than Shapiro. It was stated by Rav Haigon. Am Yisrael is not a nation because of the language. It's not a nation because of our land. And Baruch Hashem, we have a land since 1948. We're not a nation because we eat the same foods and it's not because of our culture. What makes Am Yisrael a nation? Which is solidified together, call Yisrael Arabim Salazar. It's one thing and that's Torah. Torah o mitzvot. You go now, a person who's learning Daf Yomi. You go to San Diego, California. You go into the synagogue. You're part of the Olam. You have 10 men learning with you Daf Yomi. You go to Mexico City, wherever you are. That is the Kesher of Klal Yisrael. Be'ezrat Hashem. We will be able to greet Mashiach through the learning of Torah. And I heard from Reb Simcha Wasman, who heard from the Chafetz Chaim, that this generation will have an unbelievable blossoming of Torah to greet Mashiach. Amen. And I want to thank all those who make Shalit Yon Makom Torah. Thank you, Rabbi.